Now, we were recently invited to Simple Energy's manufacturing plant in Shulagiri, Tamil Nadu to witness the launch of its first exciting electric two-wheeler proposition for the country, the Simple One. Now, the production model that launched out here today pretty much resembles the pre-production model that we had sampled back in September 2022, apart from a couple of changes in the form of a slightly bigger battery pack as well as the increase in weight of the entire scooter itself, which has gone up from 115 kgs to 134 kgs. But the most substantial of all changes with regard to the scooter has to be in the form of its pricing, which has risen from 1 lakh 10,000 rupees up to a range of 1 lakh 45,000 rupees to 1 lakh 58,000 rupees. Now, we caught up with one of the co-founders of Simple Electric, Shreyash Mishra, to find out a little more in detail about the recently launched product. To begin with, Shreyash, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been a long Thank time so coming, really. Uh, okay, so first and foremost, from coming out with the scooter, showcasing it back in 2001, to finally letting people like us, the journos, have a ride last year in September, and now launching the scooter. What's been taking so long? Yes, we showcased the scooter in 2021 and it has undergone a few changes. We have implemented new security, not just security on the dashboard side, but also safety features onto the scooter. Because we as a company believe that the scooter or the product that we build in it, the safety should be the utmost priority. When we talk about safety, it's not only about the consumers, but also people building it. So that is where we have put in a lot of efforts, time and money to ensure that the product that goes out to the consumers is safe and not compromising on the experience or the performance of it. At the same time, we have implemented a few of the patented processes on the manufacturing side to ensure that the people working on it, the team members making the simple one, are also safe without any hassles. And till date, we have gone through 300,000 hours in this manufacturing facility without even a single small incident happening. So that is the kind of uh, I would say R&D that has gone into the product and not just the product but also on the uh, manufacturing side of it. So from that time, from September last year to the scooter, that was a pre-production model that we got our hands on last September. Now coming to the pre-production model, a couple of changes that we've seen from the presentation. The battery capacity has changed first and foremost. What all is new on the production ready model? So the battery capacity has increased just because to compensate with the rebate increase that has happened. Now the scooter weighs in around 134 kgs. Initially it was 115 kgs. Because of the new safety norms that the government has increased, uh, implemented, we have been forced to increase the weight of the scooter and we have implemented all the safety features onto the battery pack and the algorithms to ensure the safety of the consumers. Plus, not to compromise on the range or the performance, that is why we, are, we had to increase the battery pack a little bit. So now it's a 5 kilowatt battery pack that we pack into the scooter. And it is again divided into fixed as well as portable. That is something that we have been focusing on since day one and that is what the benefit the consumers will get with the scooter. Now a major talking point has to be the price. Now when you came out of the scooter back in 2021, you said, okay fine, you, gave, you put the price out there saying 1,10,000 1, rupees. But now production ready model, 1,45,000 to 58,000. How do you justify that to the customer who has already put down a booking amount for the scooter and how do you retain him and tell him it's worth it? So when we talk about the electric vehicle market in the present scenario also and when we compare Simple One with to the other products available in the market, the value proposition is far better than any of the products available in the market. And that is where and also the, with the new safety norms coming in and the supply chain constraint that everybody is facing around the globe. That is what forced us to increase the price and we are also working on other products that will be catering to the needs of the market and as just like simple one which has unique value proposition for the consumers in terms of range, in terms of acceleration, in terms of the hybrid battery system that we have, we will have unique value proposition for all the products that will be coming out from Sim House of Simple. Okay, super. Now on the topics you said uh, unique proposition. Now the simple one offers a very unique proposition in terms of its battery capacity. Now it already has a fixed battery around 3.7 kilowatt hour and a detachable which is around 1.5 if I'm not mistaken. How does the batteries discharge on the vehicle? How do the batteries discharge? Is it the fixed battery first moving to the detachable battery? How does that cycle work? Because yes, so what we do that we have an algorithm that takes care of the battery discharge. It's not as simple as it's just like fixed or portable. It's switched smartly to ensure that the performance or the experience of the consumer is not compromised at the same time retaining the battery life. Because 
at the end of the day, if you're taking a scooter on a road and you're not able to take it to, let's say, 60, 70 kmph top speed, it becomes a challenge for the consumer, right? So we have four riding modes and the portable battery pack does not go to the Sonic mode, it works in the Eco mode. Apart from that, the fixed battery pack works in all the modes. And it's not just like simple, you, you can manually, of course, switch the from portable to fixed battery pack, but it is a complex and a smart algorithms that keeps on switching alternatively whenever required, whatever the condition is according to that. Okay, also on the topic of batteries, do you have a fixed and a detachable battery? Now, what do you think is the future of batteries? Portable stations where you can charge your battery on the go or Simple Energy planning on just coming out with detachable batteries or fixed charger units yes. or what, what, is so, the, what is the plan as of now? So we are still on the side that the fixed battery packs will be going ahead in the consumer market. Maybe in the B2B segment, the swapping stations or all of that can work out. But in the consumer segment where you have purchased a new battery pack and you swap it with a battery pack which you don't know how it has been used, it becomes a challenge for the consumer, right? So we'll be going, going ahead and putting up charging stations across the cities that we expand in to ensure that the consumers who buy Simple One are serviced through those char charging stations. All right. Okay, uh, so just can you give us a brief uh, update on the company as of now? People are not too sure of where the company stands as of now. So because you've taken some time to come out with your first product. So just to give our viewers an idea of where the company stands, production, distribution and of course sales and service. I would want to tell them that Simple Energy is a 400 member strong team and 400 members working specifically on the R&D side, making the product better day by day. Not just the simple one, we are working on multiple more products. And the consumers have been saying that we do not communicate. It's just that we did not want to communicate half-baked information and today the simple one is out and you have all the information available. So now going ahead, we'll be communicating with you with all the details, all the things on our social media accounts through YouTube channels like yours and, and reaching out to people and telling them that, that how do we work out and how do we ensure that the consumer Consumers who have pre-booked or who will be pre-booking with or will be booking with us in the future are serviced with the service stations, with the sales point, and after sales support as well. Great. And uh, now, they have, um, since coming out with the uh, with the the idea or the concept in 2021 to the production model, there have been quite a few EVs and even changes in the subsidies up to this point in time. Now, uh, the government is also going to do away with some of the subsidies or lower them. Now, how is Simple Energy going to tackle that particular notion? So, what steps is the company taking? Yes, what we as a company believe that you cannot be dependent only on subsidies for building a business, be it an electric vehicle or any of the businesses whatsoever. It's about building the product which can fit the market without the subsidies or the support from the government and that is where we have been working on. And all the products that we will be bringing out as well will be independent of subsidies. Uh, of course, if it is available to the consumers, we'll be happy to provide them. But to make sure that the company is viable, the product is viable, the product is uh, profitable for us is our goal. And that is where we'll be working on. And independent of the subsidies, of course, one day the subsidy will, will go away and the products will still be in the market. And in terms of the competition, I believe the market is so huge that it would take tens of simple energy to fulfill the requirement of the market. But we want to be at the top and fulfill because we have seen a significant interest from the market and people showing interest into our vehicle. So that is where we are focusing on. Just one last question about uh, the vehicle. So now um, there is one fixed vehicle and different color options. That is the differentiation of price. But what about the home, that fast charger unit? Now, how, is, how are people going to be built for that? Is it going to be separate? Does it all come under the, that one, one and a half lakh bracket or how does that work? So the price that we announced around 1.58 lakh rupees will include the charger as well. That is, there is no separate thing that we'll be paying for charger. Apart from that, we'll be putting up fast charging stations and we'll be providing more options on the charging uh, thing of the vehicle to give as an accessory. For example, we announced last year 1.5 kilowatt charger as well for home. That will also be coming in the accessory and that will be introduced soon for the consumers. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's all we have time for right now, but do let us know if you have any more questions. We'll be sure to catch hold of uh, Shrest yes. once again and uh, get them answered for you as soon as we can. Mm.